Mrs. Potato Head, good morning. I trust you'll be coming to the dinner party I'm having next week. Yes, I'll be there. You're not planning on deliberately embarrassing me again this time, are you? Deliberately embarrass you? Whatever do you mean? I'd never do anything like that. <laughs> I'm always polite and courteous. After all, I let you come to my dinner parties, don't I? Well, I'm going. But if you offend me again, don't expect me to keep quiet. Because I won't. And what exactly could you do to me anyway? <laughs> don't forget that your parents are farmers. They grow potatoes. <laughs> And what's wrong with that? Our family has run a very successful business for generations. We're much higher on the social scale than you are, don't you think? You're only a part of this family because my son happened to marry you. You can't imagine how everyone feels about that. I don't understand your disdain for my family. Farmers are essential. Everyone needs food. You eat potatoes, so I don't see why you should complain. I do eat them, but honestly, I could live without them. <laughs> do you like potatoes, Diana? I love them. I grew up eating the ones from our farm. I see. So you love potatoes, huh? I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> anyway, I'll be looking forward to seeing you at the dinner party. I hope you're looking forward to it, too. Thanks. I'll be there. Diana, are you really going today? I told your mom I would. And the dinner party is later today. I can't cancel now. There's no way I'm backing down to your mom. I'm going no matter what. Look, I understand how you feel. But you know how my mom is. I don't want to sit there and watch as she deliberately tries to get under your skin. It's okay. Besides, I know you'll be there to stand up for me if it goes too far. Anytime your mom does something like that, you always step in and take my side. I appreciate that, but don't worry about me this time. Of course I step in. I'm your husband. Even I think my mom goes too far sometimes. She's always been kind of mean. I think that's why she doesn't have a lot of friends. <laughs> but this is between me and her. I'm not going to let her push me around. I'm your wife, so I'm going to this dinner party with you whether she wants me there or not. If she tries something or steps out of line, I'll be more than happy to put up a fight. Put up a fight? <laughs> did you tell her that? I sure did. I didn't tell her I'm considering canceling their contract, though. I'd be okay with it if you did that. But would your family be okay? If your parents stopped supplying my family's company with vegetables, it'd put a huge damper on the business, at least for a while. But you know I don't care about that. I wouldn't care if that place ran itself into the ground. But wouldn't doing that impact your parents too? I mean, not having someone to sell their vegetables to. I spoke to my parents about that a while ago. They found a new buyer that wants a contract with them. So my parents are basically waiting for me to give them the okay to cut off supply to your family's company and go with the new buyer. Your mom's too stupid to know that the farms they buy their ingredients from are all owned by my parents and that we don't need to sell to them anymore. Your parents found a new buyer? That's great news. You should have told me sooner. This will really get back at my mom. <laughs> You're happy that my parents might be screwing over your family's company? Of course I am. It'll piss off all the snobs in my family that have been treating you like crap. Especially my mom. She looks down her nose at you because your family are farmers. But now you've got a chance to outsmart her and show her just how important your family's job is. Really? But, Victor, this decision is going to affect your entire family. I thought you'd be against it. Against it? I've been hoping your family would do it for a while now. I was worried about your parents' farm, though. That's why I never even proposed that option to you. But honestly, if your family isn't our supplier anymore, neither of us have to worry about the other's family business, right? That's exactly what I was thinking. Thanks, Victor. I'm really glad you're on my side. You don't have to thank me. My family is the one causing the problems for you. I should be the one apologizing. My mom's good for nothing. I'm really sorry you've had to put up with her for this long. After all, technically, after my dad died and left the company to me, 
I'm the one in charge of it all. That means when it comes to our family business, I outrank my mom and all my other relatives. Good for nothing? <laughs> but you've always supported her. At least as far as the company goes. Well, she's my mom after all. So even though I outrank her in the company, it's still difficult to exercise any authority over her. <laughs> but now I see that me holding back on her has put you in this situation. That's why you are sticking with my family's farms for your direct supplier, huh? But you don't have to worry about that anymore. My family will be just fine now with our new contract. That's great news. Tell your parents to sign with the new buyer ASAP. Let's break the news to my family tonight. If we do that, that'll mean today is the last day either of us will have to put up with my mom. That sounds fantastic. I'll call my dad right away. Now I'm actually looking forward to this dinner party tonight. I'll be home in a little bit. Let's get ready to go to this party of hers. Then we can celebrate tonight. Sounds great. See you in a bit. Diana, dinner was just served. What are you running off to the washroom for? That's just rude, don't you think? Hurry up and come back here so we can all have dinner together. <laughs> and what exactly was the meaning of that dinner you served me? I have no idea what you mean, dear. You told me you loved potatoes, didn't you? So that's exactly what I served you. I made a special dinner just for you. You couldn't possibly think I was just going to eat a raw potato plopped on my plate. You have to do something to a potato before you serve it. Or do you not even know that much about cooking? I don't see how a peasant has any right to complain. Haven't you heard the saying, beggars can't be choosers? What did you call me? Compared to a wealthy family like ours, you are a peasant, Diana. Is that too old of a term for you? What's a more current term for people like you? Country bumpkin? Oh, so now you're not even going to beat around the bush, huh? You're just gonna come out and directly insult me, huh? For a woman of such high class, aren't you at all embarrassed to do that? You're the one who should be embarrassed around here. You're the farmer. <laughs> Just get back to the dinner table. We're all waiting for you to eat your dinner. <laughs> and what is Victor doing right now? Well, he didn't say anything to me. So I think he wants you to eat this potato too. <laughs> Liar. Just get back here. Are you trying to make Victor look bad or something? Our whole family is here. Get out of the bathroom and come have dinner with us. Oh, and because you're from the potato farming family, I expect you to eat this potato. <laughs> no, I'm leaving. Well, at least take the potato with you. <laughs> and by the way, we're canceling our contract with you. <laughs> what contract? What are you talking about? I've never signed any sort of contract with you. <laughs> My family's farms. The supplier of vegetables for your entire company is Meadow Valley Farms, isn't it? Those are my parents' farms. That means all the vegetables you get for your TV dinner company is supplied by my parents. What? No, no, no. That's not even possible. The farm that we use to get our vegetables is... Come to think of it, I don't even know the name of our supplier. It doesn't matter. There's no way it's your family. Don't say such stupid things. Do you want me to embarrass you even further tonight? <laughs> Maybe you didn't know, but my maiden name is Peterson. Does that name ring a bell? Well, I asked the family, and they informed me that our supplier is indeed Meadow Valley Farms, and that it's owned by a Mr. and Mrs. Peterson. It's true, isn't it? It's your parents who supply our company with all the ingredients for our products, isn't it? That's correct. Well, partially correct. They used to supply your company with all the ingredients. Hey, come on now. Canceling a contract with no notice isn't what a good business partner would do, now is it? Give me a chance to have our whole family apologize to you. You're the ones that aren't being very good business partners. Honestly. I've had all I can take from you. I don't want you in my family's business life or in my personal life anymore. But why? Why didn't you say something sooner? 
because I thought if I said something, you would have canceled the contract long ago, and that would have devastated my family's business. But now they found another buyer, and their contract with them is even better than what they had with you. Which means they don't need you or your business anymore. They don't need us? That's just rude. You may have had a lot of time to prepare for this, but we didn't. What is our company supposed to do without a supplier? If we don't get any ingredients, we can't make our product anymore. That's a risk you take when you have a business. Suppliers come and go. You need to be prepared for things like that. Besides, your company problems have nothing to do with my family's business. So now you're the one acting all smug, huh? This is all your fault. Let me tell you this. There are a lot of farmers who would love to have a contract with us. Don't think for a second that you've beat me. This is just a minor setback. We'll find another supplier in no time. That's good. Have fun with that. You do that and tell the rest of your family how it goes, okay? Don't tell me what to do. We're done with you. You don't get it at all, do you, Mom? Victor, is that you? Finding another farm to supply you may not be so hard, but the better question is, where are you going to find the labor? It's not as easy as going on the internet and buying vegetables now, is it? I'm not worried about anything like that. You don't just need another supplier. You need workers and machines to produce products now. You're not worried about any of that? I don't know exactly what you mean by that, but I'll discuss it with the family and see what they say. You don't get it, do you? I've already discussed everything with the family. I mean, if you want to continue the TV dinner business, you need to build your own from the ground up. We're kicking you out of the family company. Huh? Don't feel bad. It's not just you. Anyone who's been mean to my wife is getting the boot. I'm cutting all the unwanted fat out of this company and I'm completely restructuring it. What are you saying? Are you saying you decided all of this? Yeah. I'm the sole owner of the company. Dad left the company to me. That means I'm your boss and I can do anything with the company that I want. It's terrible how you've treated my wife. So now I want you out. And I don't just mean out of the company. I want you out of this house and out of my life. You want me out? This is my house. No, it's not. This house is technically owned by the company. You married Dad and moved into this house, but it wasn't his house. On the books, it's company property. Ever since Dad died and left the company to me, you've basically been freeloading here. But that's... How could you do this to me? How could you do this to your own mother? The better question is, how could you treat my wife like this? Your own daughter-in-law? Well... I never wanted to do this, but you forced me. You treated my wife like crap because you thought you were better than her. But you're not. Our family business had nothing to do with you. All you did was marry into it. You did nothing to build it up. And even if you had contributed to it, it still wouldn't give you the right to look down on my wife or anyone else. You're right. I understand all that now. I was wrong. I was stupid. Give me a chance to apologize. Let me make it up to both of you. You can apologize if you want, but at this point it's not going to change anything. Diana's parents have already cancelled their contract with our company and signed with another. And I've already submitted the appropriate paperwork to have you and the others cut off from my company. And in case you didn't realize it, Diana and I are through with you. We don't want anything to do with you ever again. Huh? You're through with me? What does that mean? It means exactly what you think it means. We're not talking to you anymore. And now that dad has passed and I fired you from the company, you have no relation to this family whatsoever. Not just me and Diana. Everyone. It'd be easier to tell you all this in person. Where the heck are you anyway? I'm in the backyard having a smoke. Then get back in the house. Though I doubt anyone will still be here. What do you mean? Are you saying in the few minutes I was out having a smoke? Everyone decided to kick me out of the family? It was probably more to do with my decision as owner of the company. I told them this is how it was going to be, and there was nothing they could do about it. But if you want me to tell you the truth, there weren't any complaints. Like I said, you were only related to them through marriage. I told them how it was going to be and sent everyone home. 
Now, you're going to get your stuff and get out of here well before the night is through. And if you don't, I'm calling the cops and having you arrested for trespassing on company property. Hold on. Where am I supposed to go? I have no other place to live. You're an adult, aren't you? Figure that out yourself. How could you? You kick me out of the family business and out of my house all in a matter of minutes? How am I supposed to live? Now I have no house and no job. What am I supposed to do? You kept treating Diana like she was poor. Now's your chance to see what poor life really is. Okay, I see what you're doing. I'll prove to you that I can do this, and then you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> That'll never happen. I can never forgive you for how you treated the woman I love. I'm cutting all ties to you. That means I'm blocking your number, too. You might be able to kick me out of this place because it's company property. But don't forget that I know where you two live. If I have to, I'll force my way into your house. Again, good luck with that. We've already sold our house. We're moving away to live a quiet life, away from all this. And we haven't told anyone where we moved to. What? You've got to be kidding. Right? I'm not kidding about any of this. I can't believe you thought there'd be no repercussions for treating my wife like this. You're pathetic. Are you really going to do this to me? I'm your mother. If you leave me like this, you're going to regret it. I know you'll feel bad, and it'll eat away at you. Well, having a mom does have some benefits. But then again, I can live without him. <laughs> After that, my mother-in-law was kicked out of the house and was officially homeless. But Victor made sure that she had all her clothes, and there was still a little bit of money in her bank account, as well as the cash she had on hand. She was quite surprised, though, as the bank accounts that she was using before were actually company accounts. And since she was no longer a part of the company, she lost access to them. All she had left was her old savings account she had opened long before she married Victor's dad, and it had barely any money in it. And let me tell you, after Victor kicked her out, and she was walking away down the driveway, I wanted to throw that potato she had served me for dinner right at her head. But then I realized it would have been a waste of a perfectly good potato. I think when she saw the look in Victor's eyes when he closed the door on her, she knew there was no way he was ever going to forgive her, and that there was no way that she'd ever be coming back. After she was out of sight, down the driveway, we never saw her again. As for Victor and I, we did sell our old house, just like Victor had told his mom. We built a new house in a small town far from his family's business. We're actually living not too far from one of the farms that my parents own and operate, so I often go there to help them out. We're living a quiet life now, and we both love it. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please press the like button. See you next time.